Okay guys, welcome back. So this is a topic we've wanted to dive into for quite some time uh, as we try to explore everything relating and regarding to club fitting. The golf ball, as we've seen, is, is a very large part of, it's not just the shafts, not just the heads, it's not just the grips or the specs. The golf ball really is, is a significant part in, in this whole process. You know, as, as we dive deeper into this sort of stuff, the one realization we've, we obviously have had is that not many people are going through this type of a club fitting where you have a Bridgestone or a Tailorade or a Titleist yeah. Strixon. It's we rare, use, right? Yep. You know, in here, um, and, and most people are at a demo day, getting fitted at a demo day. Most people are getting fitted at a demo day, and even if you go to a fitting center with Trackman, it's a, you know, it's a great session, they're probably using a range ball. Correct. Like a two-piece range ball. These just happen to be tailor-made ones yep. um, that we grabbed a couple of, but this is your most common fitting ball yep. that I'm holding. And a good range ball for yeah. the purpose of durability, getting people warmed up before they go out, all, you know, all those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Is it a good golf ball to use when you're fitting? Probably no. not. Not in, a, in an ideal situation, yeah, no. You would prefer not. to have the, the real article. Well, so we want to dive into the sort of implications of doing this. If you get fit with the range ball, how does it differ from a premium golf ball? So we we're going to dive into the Tailmade TP5 versus yeah. the range ball. And actually, we were talking about this video and what direction it should go. And actually, it turns out it's a mini series, isn't has it? To it be. has to be. Has to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to test them head to head today. Then we're going to actually fit Matt to the range ball and then have him go back to sort of his golf ball and see how far your specs are out. Exactly. Uh, and, and see how bad, because you used that golf ball, what did it mean to the specs and, exactly. and where we go from there. So part one is really just comparing them. We'll get the numbers and then we'll move through wedges, iron and driver in, yep. in the future ones. So characteristics wise, like you said, uh, two piece ball, firm, firm cover. Yeah, very firm. You know, you're going to get way less uh, short game spin, all those sorts of things. Definitely. Uh, we'll see how that progresses throughout the back. Perfect. Good. So, 54 degree wedge to start. Okay. Wow. Go ahead. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Oh, oh lovely bounce. Look at that. <laughs> Holy moly. Wow. Spends no time on the club face at all. Three good wet shots. Really nice. Look at that thing. <laughs> Bounding forward. <laughs> more familiar looking. Spin back. Lovely. Smashing. It's kind of one thing I'm, I wasn't expecting to see, to be honest, is the ball's going a bit further. With? It's got more ball speed on the premium ball. Yes. Okay, three goodies with that. You couldn't hit those three better, to be honest. How's that? Okay, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Probably strike. Ah, uh, you're good guess. Primo? One, 190, yeah. Yeah. Good. That is the range ball. Very nice. That's got some hit on it, doesn't it? Yep, that's definitely got more speed on it. Good. Wait. Yeah, good call. Those like, last two were great. Yeah, one. It's what four or five miles an hour. Ball speed. <clears throat> Good.
That was nice. Yep. Happy. That's better. Wait. That's a nice drive. Yes. All right, Matty boy, so I'm in test number one in the books, mm. uh, episode one of the little mini series of range versus real ball. Um, let's start with the wedges because that Please. was an eye opener. Was it ever? So 86 miles an hour ball speed versus 94 miles an hour ball speed. Wow. Not something we could have imagined. It would not have been on my radar. No, 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 no. Launch angle 28.7, 35 launch there. Six and a half degrees in the launch. Um, spin rate was 10,441 versus 5,100. Half. So it's fair to say the wedge flight is unrecognizable. Yeah, it doesn't look like the same club. Nothing like it. It would, look like, it would kind of look like you hit a different club, basically. I mean, like shooting off high and just, just doesn't even look like a wedge shot. So yeah. let's explore this first. Yeah, this is um, the part that is completely crazy to me. So we kind of looked at a bunch of different things and see if the, the golf ball was sort of, whether it's restricted or something, weight is something mm. you can often do to restrict a golf ball. They both weighed 44 grams. So it was, was not that. It was purely just friction. Mm -hmm. The ball is not in the face long enough to, to create energy between the two mass. It's exactly what it feels like. Right? It's like a, it's a classic compression thing. That's I mean, it. we've seen compression myths go the other way, but in this case, super hard golf ball, you yeah. can't compress that properly. That was a shocker. A shocker, yeah. No good. Six iron, I think less of a shocker. Yeah, yeah. Um, we saw ball speed increase by four miles an hour. Launch was a little bit higher with the premium and spin was a little bit higher, but recognizable. I, this is the part where I think you, you could say, okay, could I get a decent iron fit mm -hmm. with a range ball? Yeah. Would you say yes. probably? Yeah. You could get a decent iron fit. Based on what we're seeing here, mm -hmm. you know, these were well-struck shots. We, we made sure we controlled that. Happy enough to say that those look quite similar. You're not going home with a, a brutal iron fit. No. You could definitely go home with a brutal wedge fit, but you're not going to go home with a brutal iron fit. Don't, yeah, don't be choosing the wedges off of Fair. that. Yeah. Um, big stick was so slightly higher launch and slightly more spin so in the first couple of scenarios we saw less spin yeah then it got to the driver we actually saw a little bit more spin so this is this phenomenon to me this is this phenomenon of slipping grip okay this is the point where you have a straight enough face where the ball starts to slip against the face due to a lack of friction, mm -hmm. but stay on the face long enough because the face is tall enough that it actually starts to gain some grip towards oh, really? the end. Yeah, oh, okay. So, okay. so a phenomenon that, that you see a little bit more with, um, you know, flyers on short irons mm. launch with low spin. Flyers on long irons actually tend to go with more spin. That's a great they're point. They're not flyers, they're actually the opposite They of don't, flyer. exactly. Yeah. yeah, good point. So I think that's what we're seeing here. Huh. Ball speed is not crazy different. I mean, we yeah. obviously heard how hard the golf ball was when we oh hit it. Oh my God, so hard. Offensive. <laughs> it hurt my ears. It was, I mean, it was not good. Driver sounded great with the TP5 and it, it oh. sounded, sounded brutal with, uh, with the range ball. Mm -hmm. But uh, you could get a decent driver fit, you'd say, with the range ball. It's I not mean, gonna be a great decent, fit. Decent, you know, 14.7, and 2600, the chances are most fitters are going to fit you into either lower loft or stiffer shaft or something. That, that in most fitters' eyes, is going to be a little bit too much of everything. Apex is too high. Okay. So I would say this would be another red flag for me. Right. That, that doesn't look right. Somebody would fit you to the nine degree sub zero version. Which I know I can't. You can't keep hit it, you just poof, straight yeah. out of there. Okay, that's a, that's right. a really good point. So that, that to me is a red flag. The only one I saw that, that kid I would give pass marks to was the six iron. It was the iron. I yeah. could see it, not, okay. not a problem. Fair um, enough. That to me is not. I mean, that's a great example of 
if I got fit to the nine degree based on those numbers, I would take my premium ball on the first tee, yeah. my next round, and I'd probably hit a dive bombing shot and go, what the hell? You would, you would, you'd be struggling for your consistency for sure. And over a period of time, you'd be like, oh, I'm not all that happy with this. You know, uh -huh. I'm, I'm not flighting it very good. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of curving it a little bit too much. And you'd probably still hit it great on the range because <laughs> yeah. you'd be using the range ball again. <laughs> It'd be great. You'd be like, oh, what's happening on the course? That's true. I, it, it's a great point because it's, it's just replicating playing situations in the fitting bay, yeah. the ball is probably one of the biggest things you can do or you can mess up. So we are going to take this a step further. Mm -hmm. we're, going to, we're going to try to fit you as we, you would get fit on the range. Yeah. Let's see what you end up in. Love it. I think this is going to be a wild scene. It is. I don't even know what the hell you're going to do with the wedges. Good luck with that. I mean, I'm probably going to give you a 34 degree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a launch, seven iron wedge. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do. You'll figure um, something out. I mean, because at the end of the day, you spun a six iron more than you spun a 54 degree wedge. That was nuts. You just don't pay attention enough. Like I no. hit balls in the range with my wedges. Yeah, they look really high. Yeah. But it's tougher to identify, oh God, there is no spin on that because it's landing in the rough. Well, and then you try and hit some of those little partial shots and you can't, just can't get that little, no. you know, driven flight that kind of hits and checks up. Totally. Yeah, you never see that. And jumps through the back of the green and all that sort of stuff. If so. anyone wants to see, um, what a range ball versus a premium ball did with like a 30, 40 yard shot. We did do a video on that at mm -hmm. Magna, um, which I'll link below. Right. Just because you may be curious. It, it's not, it's not going to be a surprise. Yeah. We remember the, the range ball just kind of scooted off, Scoot but as an addition, that may be one to, to check out. Without a doubt. Okay. This is, as we said, part of a mini series. We're going to dive more into this to give you guys more information that helps you when you're on the range being fit, whether it's a demo day or et cetera, et cetera. Maybe they're, like we said, an iron fit is safe. A driver fit may, may not be. Might not be the worst idea. Um, maybe if you've got a couple of, if you're going to the range, you want to get fit, you, you get down the line, maybe take six of, of the old golf balls of what you use. At the end of the, the session, ask to hit those six golf balls. Mm -hmm. Verify that your numbers are good before you're completely confident. Make sure you get one with a good ball that you strike the way and yeah. then check the numbers. If the numbers are good, then yeah, you can walk Definitely. away somewhat satisfied. Absolutely. Okay. Great. All right, more to come in this series, guys. For us, the road to 100,000 subscribers as we've been talking about this week. We're on it. You guys are on it with us. Get subscribing. Don't just watch the videos. Hit subscribe. Stay with us all the way through. You'll get updates on the videos when they come out and we've got lots more to come.